Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I wanna go over the ultimate multiplayer FPS pack by Parallel Beam. It comes with a ton and ton of features such as the unlimited customizability, 360 degree prone, dual wielding, multiple equipment, and so on. And you can just read the description down below. Comes with clean clothes. It is fully replicated for multiplayer systems. I tried this out, it feels very, very AAA. And it also does come with a couple game modes such as Team Deathmatch and King of the Hill. So let's actually go ahead and open this project and try it out. And this project is actually reliant on AGR5, which is by 3S Game Studio. So if you don't have this, this is a completely free plugin. And if you don't know what AGR5 is, this is pretty much just a very streamlined way of developing gameplay mechanics in Unreal Engine. It just, it's so much easier to create stuff like inventory systems. And I've gone over this on my channel a few times and as well as combat systems, and it is uh, multiplayer friendly. So I just gone ahead and opened the project, full screened it. Let's go ahead and actually try this out. So I'm gonna hit play. Uh, so I start with this weapon and you can see that I can go ahead and actually just move this target by hitting F, gonna aim at it. See this little hit marker. It's giving me a very Call of Duty vibe. You can see my ammo and grenades and flashbangs on the bottom right. Let's go ahead and actually uh, move this back and it'll tell you exactly where I hit. Nice. <laughs> And then I can click F on this red dot to clear my targets. And this looks really, really nice. I can generate a weapon. What? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So you can have different types of weapons just kind of spawn out of nowhere. And then hit F to go ahead and interact with it. You can see the little, you can see this cool blurry material over while looking at the target. You'll see this kind of static -y effect over here. Really cool effect. My AK, my M3, and so on. You can see all types of customization, like skins and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the randomize does. Oh, wow. Okay. So it actually randomizes the skins on all of these that's up here. You can go ahead and pick this up, and you can see uh, going to just release some sort of battle pass so players could purchase and try to unlock the skin. So I can hit Q and E to shift left or strafe left and right, which is really cool. I can hold C to crouch and then V to prone. And then I can actually go all the way around. Okay, I didn't notice this. So my body, you can see my body just kind of scooching on over. So this is actually really cool. If you go down in the game like Left 4 Dead or Call of Duty, trying to get your uh, teammates to res you or something, you can bring out your pistol and so on. It even has climbing uh, ladder which is really cool. So I can go ahead and interact with this. Let me go ahead and interact. So I'll hold F, go up, and you can kind of see my, I still have access to my pistol, which is actually really cool. So I can shoot while climbing is really nice. I wonder if I can shoot with my, with my main, probably not. Oh, oh, I can. Oh no, I can't, I can't. I can have it out, but I can't shoot with it. Oh wait, no, I just didn't have ammo. Let me go ahead and swap guns just because I ran out of ammo on this one. So now if I go ahead and climb the ladder, I can shoot while climbing. So that's actually really, really cool. And let's climb down. So I just interact. It's actually making me climb back up. Let me just fall down. And now let's try the grenades. I actually did not try this yet. So I'm going to hit G, toss a grenade. Bounces, waits a bit, and <laughs> okay. So it is supposed to explode, but my shaders didn't load for this. Let me actually try. Uh, this may not be the greatest. Oh, there we go. So G in order to throw. Okay, so now I can actually have my gun out and throw this flashbang. Let's see what it does here. So I might have to load the shader for the first one. Yeah, okay, I did. And now let's let's do this again. A little flashbang. And okay, nice. So I have this really distorted chromatic aberration type effect. So that's actually really cool. Love how that looks. And let's actually go ahead and see some of the blueprints and the modularity of this. So starting with the project, that's something I don't really see as much as I wish I did from the asset store. Um, this is all located in one folder and then everything is kind of neatly organized. So I got all my animations here weapon child and so on. You can kind of customize these as you want and they're very easy to switch out. 
you got different maps so it'll we can showcase the deathmatch and the king of the hill so let me actually go ahead and let's try out king of the hill so now when i hit play it's going to open up this uh menu i can select my primary my tactical i can choose different loadouts and so on and then i can already see my teammates are already on it everyone's name is walter apparently let's go ahead and deploy and help these guys out so I'm just going to go in and I don't really know who's my ally, but let's go ahead and take the high ground or, oh wait, actually, I don't think there are teams right now. They're really just booking it. That's actually crazy. Don't worry guys. I'm a pro. No, I suck. And then it takes me back to this loadout screen and <laughs> honestly, really, really cool. So you'll see that we need to capture point B first and there's a little timer up here. This is actually really fun, not gonna lie. So let's actually go ahead and try out Deathmatch. All right, same thing. It's gonna start, it's gonna say our kills versus their kills. Uh, we can select our loadout, secondary weapon, and grenades and all that. Change loadouts as we want to. Let's go ahead and hit deploy. I don't know if I have any teammates on this one or is it just another free for all? There is an option for teams. Well, that was quick. Uh, I guess it was just one life, one kill. And now you can see uh, there's this really cool weapon loadout, which looks freaking amazing. And you can see this is really giving me like a very commercial AAA game vibe. And to be able to achieve all this as an indie dev where it's just done for you is freaking amazing. So I can select the different types of weapons by left clicking over here. You'll see them kind of slide in with their animation and tilt sideways, giving a nice, really polished look. And then I, for loadout two, I can go ahead and select the M19. Loadout three, let's stick with the uh, the MC and so on. And overall, and you can also modify this. So I don't want to modify that. I want to go ahead and modify one of the big guns. Let me actually just modify the AK. Got to modify this. Uh, we can add a sight to it, different kind of sight. It's going to show us this little aiming spread or these little details of what it will do. For example, these upgrades. I'm just going to add a very large scope, even though it's probably not necessary. And then I can also modify the stock. Let's just go ahead and go all out for this. I'm not too sure what these are. Okay, nice, another. Uh, we can change the barrel of this. So this is gonna kind of go crazy. So increased damage, more recoil. Let's just do the damage one. That sounds a lot better. Uh, I can change the mag type. And I love how this physically changes the mesh itself and as well as the grip. This looks so cool. Oh, I can add skins here. Okay, I didn't even notice that actually. This is really cool. I can have a golden gun, this little galaxy space skin, and this is just applying a material over this mesh, which is super, super cool. And then same with, let's see what this projectile does. So now if I go over to, and it's a work in, work in progress UI, so let's go ahead and click on this. So you can see there's a little uh, gameplay video control app. So it already comes with settings, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh, this is like really, really well done. Let me apply an exit and see if I can actually, um, okay. So I can actually find server names, players in ping. So let's go ahead and create a server. I think I will do a death match over here. I'm just going to select the loadout. I think I did it on loadout two. Yeah, I did it on loadout two. And now you can see the gun I created is right here. I have this unnecessary infrared scope. And bam, use my amazing OP gun with increased damage, basically wall hacks. <laughs> and that's actually really cool. I'm, I'm loving this. This, this is freaking amazing. So now I actually want to go into the blueprints because this is probably mainly what users want to learn off of, of how to do these things. So we can start off by using the BP MSK character. We can go ahead and open this up and kind of see what's going on behind the scenes here. So this is again, using AGR five, which I highly recommend checking out if you haven't done so already, and you can kind of see how we're using this primary action, secondary action, and so on. And it's kind of just giving quite a few checks to make sure we are doing exactly what we assign it to. So there's a BB character inventory here. Uh, we got our interacts over here with our tactical equipment, lethal equipment, primary weapons, secondary equips, and so on. And just a lot kind of going on behind the scenes over here. And everything is nicely commentated. So X is a switch camera view. I actually did not know uh, we can go ahead and do this. So there's first person, third person, and body cam. Let's actually go ahead and try this out. I did not know X was the key for this. Um, oh, I'm still in the death, death match one. So if I hit X, 
third person okay so i can't see anything when i zoom that's crazy and then x again is my body cam that's actually really cool and this is why it's really useful to see uh all the blueprints and go through everything that you kind of get just so you know um what you are looking at this is kind of crazy harder to aim without my zoom oh i'm not using the gun with my zoom let me go back i'm actually doing tricks with my gun this is insane all right let's see if i can snipe this guy third person no scope oh i need to reload hold on that doesn't count and then that doesn't count bro he's just running around all right we're, we're not doing that we're not doing that but that's really cool to know that clicking x is going to uh change our views to these three and you can go ahead and just select whichever one you want to permanently select and or just get rid of this and force your character to only be first person third person or body cam view and so on and now we can actually go ahead and i think another one that a lot of my a lot of the community is interested in is ai controls so if you want to see how the ai works you can go ahead and check out the behavior tree so it's going to start from the root go into the sequence go to this task to fire a weapon and this is basically the blueprint telling it to receive the tick for the ai to get its own item check it out and then if it needs to reload then go ahead and do so we have this random location and move to kind of like we just saw that one npc running around once it got to that point uh just until we show up and then it would go back to this fire weapon right to us and then we have our ai controller here which is going to run the behavior tree that we called and it's running this behavior tree casual ai that we were just looking at over here and then we also have our blackboard with our keys over here and there's just a ton of information. Even if you're not going to use this kit to uh, have a good starting point to create a FPS or a third person shooter game, you can use it as a base for learning how to create them. Just an amazing way done by amazing devs. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Feel free to check out, feel free to check out the ultimate multiplayer FPS pack. A uh, very great asset. It's by Parallel Beam. And yeah, feel free to try the demo if you want to try the preview that I was trying. Great devs, if you have any questions, feel free to join their Discord. Thanks for watching, Cut Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.